Reverb and decay are all terms used to describe a gradual decrease in sound. It's measured in RT60, which is the time in seconds it takes for an impulse sound to decrease by 60 dB. Most of the sound picked up by a microphone comes directly from a speaker's mouth. But it also picks up sound of the speaker's voice that has bounced around in the room. And this causes reverb. This is what gives a room its character. And it varies depending on the size of the room, the temperature, as well as the wall, floor and ceiling materials. The shape of the room also has an effect. Sound in a long hallway is perceived quite differently than sound in a smaller conference room, for example. When recording music or video, reverb is, is used to create a fuller sound or a specific ambience. A cold, a cold and empty hall or a cozy little cottage. But too much reverb can interfere with direct sound and mask it. Clarity can decrease in a teleconference, for example, if there is too much reverb. This can be avoided either by dampening or improving the acoustics in a conference room, or just by sitting closer to the microphone so that direct sound isn't masked by reverb. To eliminate this problem, conference phones can utilize various microphone techniques depending how the phones will be used. Microphone placement and configuration are examples of this. Equalization can also be employed to bring out the nuances of speech. The goal is for conference phones to work satisfactorily, even in difficult environments and without participants needing to hunch over their phones. Everyone should be able to sit comfortably during the dialogue.